Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another hair tutorial for you guys. So today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this ash blonde shade. I absolutely love how it turned out and I want to share it with you guys. So if you want to see how I got it, then please continue to watch. All right, so let's get started. So today I'm gonna be using three bundles of Ali Pearl hair. And as you can see today, you guys, I'm not using any blonde hair, so I'm using uh, 1B, the color's 1B. So it's like a natural black. And I'm gonna be using a frontal. So one frontal and three bundles. I'll put all the length and all that info in the description bar down below. So we're gonna be using the Blonde Brilliance Powder Lightener. It goes up to nine level of lightness. That's what it claims. So I'm gonna be using this for the first time and I'm I'm using the cream developer which is the 25 volume 25 also from blonde brilliance again I'll put everything in the description bar down below all right so you're gonna need a mixing bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and put that powder lightener into the mixing bowl you can also use the L'Oreal powder lightener that one works just as well I just wanted to try this one out and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that cream developer and mix this product all around so you guys uh, for this hair look we can't do the watercolor method today okay we gotta do this the old-fashioned way so I'm gonna go in with my brush make sure you're wearing your gloves to protect your hands from all that chemical and I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, the bleach onto my frontal so I'm gonna apply it all over this frontal we want to get this hair as light as we possibly can all right, so as you can see, the hair, the color is already starting to change. It's turning into that brassy, you know, that orangey color. So it is getting lighter. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this aside for about 45 minutes and let the dye sit in the hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out. All right, so I washed out the product out of the frontal and this is what I am left with. This is this very brassy, uh, orangey looking you know frontal so I wanted it to be more of a yellow blonde so I had to go back in and bleach it some more so I'm just doing the same thing over again I'm just applying the bleach all over it you guys I'm gonna be honest with you this was a lot of work like this wig honestly took me like two and a half days to do the coloring and all that stuff so as you can see she's looking more on the yellow side and make sure you apply that bleach onto the other side of the frontal as well I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the hair up in some foil and then I'm gonna put it aside and let it sit there for around 30 minutes okay so now I'm gonna move on to the bundles I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the bundle I'm just putting some bobby pins in there just so the hair doesn't get all tangly and it's easy for me to bleach the hair so I'm just gonna go in with my brush again and do the exact same thing I did to the frontal apply the bleach all over the hair so yeah, you just want to make sure you apply it all over the hair and on the other side as well. You want to make sure you're distributing all this product into the hair or else you're going to have some pieces that are still dark. And you guys, I do check on my frontal every 5 to 10 minutes just to make sure that it's bleaching and I want to make sure that the hair is not getting, you know, fried and dried out. So I do check on it every 5 minutes. So this is pretty much what it looks like right now that I apply all the bleach all over the hair. And I'm going to go ahead and step off camera and wash this out real quickly. And I stepped off camera, I washed it out, and this is what we are left with. So that same orangey brassy shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and bleach this hair again. So doing the same exact thing. I really want to get it to that yellow honey blonde color. And this is what the frontal is looking like right now. So I have that yellow shade that I want. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and wash the bleach out. And you guys, this is the shampoo that I use. This is the Shimmer Lights Shampoo Blonde and Silver. It's perfect for toning, so it's gonna get rid of that brassy color. So this is the end result. And I'm very happy with the color that I have right now. So I got the black hair to a honey blonde. Um, as for the bundles, I already washed them out, but I just didn't show that part on camera. All right, so we are not done yet. We're gonna do some toning because I want this hair to be like a ash blonde situation. And I'm gonna be using the Wella Color Charm um, T18 and T11 toners with the Cream Developer number 20 from Salon Care. And I'm using two parts Cream Developer on each. So I have the cooler tone blonde and the more of a honey tone blonde. I'm mixing up all the products. And now we're gonna go ahead and apply this onto the hair. So I'm gonna be doing the frontal 
first you guys so I'm gonna go in with the t18 and I'm gonna apply most of it at the top because I want the top of it to be more like on that ashy blonde side so I'm just applying it all over the hair And as you can see, I'm parting my frontal because I wanna make sure that this toner gets distributed all over the hair. And I'm gonna go in with the T11 shade, which is more like a honey blonde. And I'm just going to, so now I'm gonna go in with the T11 toner, which is more like a golden blonde. And I'm just gonna apply this at the ends. So I have it more ashy on the top and more um, golden blonde at the bottom. So I'm just really mixing the T11 and the T18 together to get the perfect shade of ash blonde. So this is what it's starting to look like. Um, it's gonna start looking a little bit on the purple side. So that's how you know the product is working. And I'm gonna move on to my bundles. So this is my bundles and I'm doing the same exact thing that I did to the frontal. I'm applying the T18 toner at the top and I'm gonna go in with the T11 at the bottom, pretty much mixing them together. So same exact thing. All right guys, so I'm all done toning my bundles. If you look really closely, you might see my cat just chilling behind me. He just, that's him right over there, he's just chilling. Anyway, so my bundles, I left the toner on for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go in with my purple shampoo. Um, I washed out the toner already, by the way. I did it off camera. I'm not close to the water, so you know I had to step off camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply that purple shampoo and I leave it in for about five minutes, wash the hair just to tone out any brassiness make sure all that brass is gone and of course I did the same exact thing to the frontal as well I washed out the toner I left it on for 20 minutes and I go in with the purple shampoo so now I'm gonna go ahead I conditioned the hair already but I'm also gonna use the silicon mix hair treatment this is really gonna help to make that hair Feel nice and soft and not dry and crusty because honey we bleach the heck out of this hair okay so I'm just gonna apply the silicone mix all over my bundles and my frontal and then I literally let it sit in my hair for about a few hours like I left it in for a few hours and then I came back to the hair the very next day I'm telling you guys this took me two days and a half to do so this is the end result this is what the hair is looking like right now I love it but I was not really happy with the roots I was like okay you know what I think I'm gonna make the roots darker yeah so I definitely wanted to add some roots so I wanted to make the roots darker so I'm about to give myself some more work you guys all right so I'm gonna go ahead and protect this frontal because we're gonna make the roots dark so I'm gonna go in with some got to be free spray and I'm gonna apply this all over my frontal because I'm using a darker shade I don't want to mess up my frontal I don't want to mess up um, the knots I don't want the knots to get darker because the knots are already bleached out so I don't want them to be darker so I'm just applying got to be free spray and this is just gonna act as a shield to help protect the hair all right so I'm gonna take the so I'm gonna use the ion color brilliance permanent cream hair color in the shade light ash brown and I'm using the salon care cream developer in 20 and I'm just gonna apply the um, the light ash brown into my mixing bowl I'm not using the whole thing because we're just doing the roots and then I'm gonna add some cream developer to that and then I'm gonna mix it all around all right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and comb my frontal and make a part and then I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the product to the roots. So I'm only applying it to the roots. Now you can make your roots darker if you want, but I wanted to do like a light ash brown roots and I'm not taking it down too far at all. Yeah, I'm just parting the hair and I'm just making sure that I get all the roots. I'm not being too heavy handed with this at all. I'm being very light handed because again, even though I protect my frontal with the got to be free spray, um, I didn't really let it dry properly. So I just want to make sure that none of the ash brown is seeping through and going on my frontal because I don't want to bleach the knots dark. So I just go in with the comb and make sure that the color is being distributed all through the roots. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did. And I'm gonna leave it on there for about, I think I left it on for maybe 15 minutes. I think so, but you know what? All the instructions is on the little paper that comes with the dye. So I think it was 15 minutes that I left it on for. 
So this is pretty much what the frontal is looking like right now. I'm gonna step off camera and go wash the product out. And you guys, I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. This is my first time doing this, okay? I'm not a professional, but this is my first time. And it turned out pretty good. I'm very happy with the color. I'm happy with how the roots turned out. I'm glad I, I did the roots. Now I did not make this wig on camera. I stepped off camera and made the wig. I have tons of video on how I make my wigs. And I glued my wig on off camera as well because I do have a video on how I apply my wigs very detailed video so yeah this is pretty much how the wig turned out this is the final look I didn't really do much to style it all I did was use a flat iron and straighten it I didn't cut it or anything the lens that I got the frontal was a 20 inch and the longest length was 26 inches 26 24 22 and the 20 inch frontal so it was already pretty much layered I didn't need to cut it but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up up comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next and i'll see you in another video very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching